you can customize your character in Elder Scrolls Online. Yes, you heard me correctly. You can. Stick with me because I'm going to show you how and give you that information. Hello, my wolf pack. Thank you all for watching. And here we are on the character I created like a week or two ago because I thought she would be the best to give the examples of customizing your character. Now, there's a little customization already on her, but she is wearing beginner level armor or gear, however you would like to call that. And so I thought she would be perfect. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Now, you would press on the PlayStation 4, your options button, you would go to collections, and we're gonna go down into appearance. There's a lot of things in here that I'm, you know, you can, you can customize or change but customizing your appearance is what this video is gonna be about. But I wanted to take a couple seconds and show you there are other things you can customize in this. So don't be afraid, play around with it. All you do is check it and uncheck it so there's no making mistakes really except for undoing it. So I hide my helmet most often, but in this instance, I wanted to show you, you know, you can put a pot on your head like Cadwell. I mean, there's a pot on the head, you get it? You get it? You get it? Oh my gosh, anyway. <laughs> so, you, you know, you can hide helmet. These are things, you know, customized appearance items that you can put on there, or there are helm helmets that you get with, you know, your gear that you can have it show or not show. Here's hairstyles. There are different hairstyles you can um, buy or you can, um, I don't know if some of them come custom anymore, you know, with the race that you are. There's probably some that, that do come with the races. It's been so long, I bought like a pack that gives you all the races, hairstyles in one. So that way, you know, except for Argonian, I wouldn't be able to do that clearly. So male or female, it has male, female. If you're a male character and female hairdos, I don't think they allow you to to switch back and forth. See here, dark emphasis eyelashes. Basically it gives female characters longer eyelashes. Not quite sure what it does for the male character. There are, you know, crowns, there are earrings. Look at this, custom earrings. And most of these are either from going into a zone or collecting a certain um, chapter. And also, you know, of course, yes, there are crowns that have been spent, but it's crowns that I received from the monthly subscription. So now this is what she looks like without a costume on and then there's costumes and you can actually color your gear or the costume it doesn't have to be what it comes with the base base colors is how you would say that now you can see here she didn't have the helmet on i'm putting the helmet on just so you, i could see and show you you can do it either way even with costumes which is really awesome if you think about it there's tattoos, you know, and some of the tattoos are black. Some of them are like glowy, light blue, really cool. There's things that you can collect as far as skins go. I believe I purchased the Blood Forge, but the other one came from something that they gave away that you open up kind of thing. These are all the different personalities. These you can get either purchased from the store or you get from going into certain zones and completing certain quests. Yes, you heard me right. All you have to do is complete a storyline and you will get the personality. Or if you buy a chapter, like I purchased the Telvani Magister came with the Warden. So I made sure that I purchased the, the chapter that had the Warden that gave me access to being the Warden and that's how I got the Telvani Magister. It's actually really cool. That changes a lot of different things that, you know, emotes that you can do also. These two particular items you get from doing storyline. One is from the Dark Brotherhood and the other one is just from doing the main storyline before you even get out of the, the base game portion of things. How cool is that? You can run around like a skeleton or you can run around like an assassin skeleton. How, I mean, it's awesome. And there's other ones I have not even collected. Yes, I know I'm, I'm not saying I'm lazy. It's just that I get so head, head dead set basically on certain storylines that I don't even look in the other direction until it's like, oh wait, I want that. And then I go after it. It's okay. There's a lot of things to try and absorb in this game. And customizing your appearance is one of them. Now, 
it may be a vanity thing or not, but you know, as far as games go, how cool is it? You can customize your character, even with the crown store, look at this, you can try things on, see how it looks, and you can change the colors. Remember, you can change the colors of the items that you purchase even from the crown store. So you're never stuck with the color scheme or with an arrow in your knee, you know, for very long because you can change those colors, you can change your appearance, you can change a lot of different things about your character. So I hope this helped you. If there's anything that I missed that I didn't go over with customizing your appearance, please leave me a comment. I will answer you. Please remember to smash that like button, ring the bell to be alerted, and hit subscribe. Take care of my wolf pack. I will talk to you next time.